All right, and welcome to the 3-3 ACP Mixed Review. Now, number 17 says this. Find the measure of angle 1 when given AB is parallel to LM. Now, what are we going to do here? Well, we know we have AB, we're saying it's parallel to AM, and we have two kind of broken transversals. Well, what we always want to do is we want to draw our auxiliary line and remember, our auxiliary line will actually be parallel as well to AB and LM. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that our corresponding angle, obviously this acute angle right here, those are going to be the same. So this bottom portion of angle 1 will be 31 degrees. Easy. Now, where it gets a little bit trickier is sometimes you're not given the corresponding angle. So, for instance, this is the corresponding angle, and we have to know that right there. Well guys, this is so easy because we know that right here is a straight line and any two angles on a straight line have to add up to 180. Fantastic. So if we just do 180 minus 156, looks like we'll get about 24 degrees. And so we can say, you know what, this is 24 degrees, which means that this top portion is 24 degrees. Now, in order to finish this problem off, we actually have to find out what the whole angle 1 is, and we get that by adding the two parts. So, of course, 24 plus 31 will give us 55 degrees as our answer. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and move on to problem number 18. Okay, y'all, go ahead and take a look at problem 18. You'll notice it's very similar to the previous problem. So, of course, we start by drawing our auxiliary line in such a way that our auxiliary line is parallel to AB and LM. Now, notice this time our corresponding angle is actually on the top. That's going to be that 55 degrees. But on the bottom, this corresponding angle is supplementary to the 112. So, remember, this supplementary angle right here, let's call it X, has to add up with 112 to become 180. So we can simply say 180 minus 112, 68 degrees. I think that's like one of my favorite numbers, apparently. Keep using it. And that means this bottom portion will also be 68 degrees. Now remember, in order to finish this problem off, we're actually going to have to add the two parts. Remember, the angle addition postulate, part plus part equals the whole. And it looks like 55 plus 68 will give us 100 and... Oh gosh, 123 degrees. All right, let's move on to our next example, number 19. And if it's not 123, y'all let me know in the comments, okay. Okay, here we are in problem 19, and it says find the equation of the line parallel to, so parallel, remember, we're looking at the slope, to y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4. Well, of course, y'all, this is our slope or our m value. Now, remember, this point that we're given, we'll always label it x1, y1, when there's just one point. And, of course, we're going to use our point-slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m parentheses x minus x1. Now, what's this going to look like? Well, we never change our y minus, but we do know our y1 is 6 is equal to... And here, let's just go ahead and say this in green. Remember, guys, parallel means the same slope. That's the easy one. So we'll put a slope of negative 2 over 3. And, of course, from there we can go ahead and say x minus x1, which is negative 9. Now, notice before we start this one, we have two negatives, which make a positive, And now we can begin. We have y minus 6 is equal to negative 2 thirds times x, which will be negative 2 over 3x. But this tricky one is negative 2 over 3 times 9. Well, remember, we want to change 9 into a fraction, 9 over 1. And the rule is top times top. So we're going to do negative 2 times 9, which will be negative 18 over and bottom times bottom, 3 times 1, which is 3. And now we can go ahead and simplify this to y minus 6 equals negative 2 over 3x. And we're going to simplify this because negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. Now from here, guys, all we have to do to get y by itself is add 6 to both sides 
and it turns out we get y is equal to negative 2 over 3 x and that's just it all right because those apparently cancel out all right thank you guys and I'll see y'all in our next problem okay here's problem number 20 even though I blocked it out and we want to find the value of x when given a b is parallel to am now notice guys here we only have one transversal so this is not our auxiliary line type of problem and I'm going to show you all two ways to do this. One will just be kind of the very like easy way. And then the second way will be to give this kind of a uh, kind of a name. So here's going to be the trick. From now on and forever, if you want, in the top left angle, we'll put a circle. And then going clockwise, we'll put an X and then a circle and then an X. And then starting over, circle, X, circle, X. Now what's the rule? The rule is that circles are congruent to circles, x's are congruent to x's, and circles plus x's will add up to 180. Notice that right here we actually have, let's see, a circle and another circle. So if we want to solve these, we're just simply going to say 158 is equal to 3 parentheses 6x plus 7. Now, if you wanted to know the more technical way, like how would I expect a pre-AP student to reconcile this, I would say, you know what, these are clearly in the same position, and I would recognize that they are corresponding, corresponding angles, which we know corresponding angles are also congruent or equal. Okay, but let's solve this. So we know that 3 times x is, I'm sorry, 3 times 6x will be 18x. 3 times 7 will be 21. And from there... We're just solving for x. So minus 21, minus 21, and of course, 158 minus 21 will give us 137, which is equal to 18x. Well, we divide both sides by 18. And guys, for this one, I'm going to even need my own calculator just to do this quickly. There's no sin in doing big numbers in a calculator. So 137 divided by 18 will give us. 7.61. Now, y'all, I have a lot of y'all stopping after you find the value of x, but and typically we want to plug it in, but this is one of the few times that we actually do want to find x. All right, thank y'all, and I'll catch you guys in our next lesson.